Hey Jules Bliss Vegan and as always welcome to my channel and for those of you who are new I know you can benefit. <sighs> I hope you're just having like a really comfortable spring. <laughs> it's still spring right? Or maybe it's just like 70, 76. Be so lovely. Unlike California in the high desert where it's 96 and where even right now Going into the 10 o'clock hour, it is still about 82 degrees, but it was 74 at six o'clock this morning. It's not even summer yet, people. <sighs> Why do hinges of hell come to mind for this summer? I'm so afraid. Oh my goodness. Anyway, okay. Um, I'm going to calm down even though I'm melting. Um, to be fair, I did just rebound. Uh, anyway. I'm just getting in my steps, getting in my 10,000 steps a day, you know, offering it up for those who cannot walk. You know, um, there's been miracles for people who've been with me for a while. You know, my niece, Christine, is a phenom, the one who got hit by a minivan on her bicycle with no helmet. And less than a year later, she is walking on her somewhat titanium legs using her partial titanium arm, lifting weights. I mean, please, thank you, Father. My sister Vanessa, still in insane pain, but can walk from the couch to the kitchen, um, can walk for little brief periods without her walker. My nephew Dean is not there, but he is using his arms. You know, there's a lot of uh, beautiful things going on, so I will rejoice in all of that and for as long as I am essentially pain-free. And God, literally God, the Father of the universe, knows the insane pain I've had in my life. It's not right now. And for that, I will offer it up. So I'm just giving a brief talk really quickly. This is called Four Tips for Getting Back on Track. And I don't know where you've lost track, right? It may be with food. It may be with your goal to exercise. It may be... Um, discarding things in your home, reducing, right? Uh, it could be um, in the workplace, I don't know. But for me personally, when I over-focus in one area, I tend to get off track in the others. Um, balance is a difficult one for me. I do many things, I do many of them well, but it is really hard for me to keep all the balls juggling in the air at the same time, if you will. So number one, spend more time with yourself. I am always open to that. People think I'm such a social butterfly. They're just sure that I just want to be on all the time. I love being on, but when I'm not, even more, I love being by myself. <laughs> Partly because I'm never by myself. I have God. I have like so much going on in my head all the time, but I really love to be by myself. So to kind of get balance, Spend more time with yourself. Figure out who you really are inside and what makes you happy. Then pursue those things that make you truly excited. You owe it to yourself to be happy. Believe in yourself and your own potential because if you don't believe in yourself, no one else will. Amen, right? I'm always happiest when I'm creating. That's why I hold on to these little Jules Bless Vegan videos, even if there's so few, you know, people seeing them or so few followers. I like the creativity of it, you know. That's why I like being a teacher, because it changes every single day. And I can really um, use every creative ounce of my being and in the moment. Because I often need to problem solve, put out fires, and do all those things in the moment. Today we had a lockdown on campus for over four hours. And it was real and it was unfortunate. And it made the news that um, somebody had shot at a couple of people. And sadly the police had to shoot that person. And they did die. And it was very scary, you know, because it was in the local neighborhood. And all of my students were aware. And their parents, of course, were in a panic. And... I had to be on my game, you know, and I was just reminded of why it's imperative that I eat right and stay healthy because I have a very demanding life and I can't afford the excuses of, well, I'm too tired or lying to people to cover up eating food I'm not proud of or uh, 
pretending to be sick, you know, when indeed I am sick, but for all the wrong reasons. So it was just a really important reminder of me being on top of my game because we never know what's in our inbox. All right, number two, stop comparing yourself to others. Only look to others for inspiration. How beautiful is that? Only look to others for inspiration, not for self-fulfillment. Distance yourself from anyone who tries to impose their own values on you. So get that. Decide for yourself what matters to you and stop being afraid of not living up to other people's expectations. Be free to live your life as you want to live. So beautiful. Shift your mindset. Realize that the past failure, trauma, or disappointments are just teaching moments. Learn the lessons and don't be afraid to try again. It's really interesting, and I do work with kids and right now middle schoolers, but there's this kind of unspoken message that you're supposed to be able to get things on your very first try. And you know, a baby falls over 10,000 times, way more than 10,000 times. Um, and before they master walking. And of course, little kids fall many times after that, right? But yeah, it's really important to know that we're not expected to master something our very first try. And if we do, it's often referred to as beginner's luck, right? The past doesn't have to hinder your future. Live in the present and plan the way forward for the life you desire. There has to be a plan. Ah, there has to be a plan. All right. Step outside your comfort zone. Get out there and do things. Push yourself to learn new demanding skills and experience new places. Living outside your comfort zone is exciting and great fun. It brings back the zest and satisfaction for life. Luckily, in recent years, it's been proven that the brain is pliable and, in fact, it always continues to grow, to get more information and to continue to evolve. For a long time, they said that the brain stopped growing, you know, like just after childhood or something. Um, it turns out for the entire life of the individual, there are opportunities for learning and growing. No surprise. That's so God, right? So again, there's just four. These are tips for getting back on track. Start by spending more time with yourself so that you can truly have a sense of who you are in the privacy of yourself. You get to determine that. Stop comparing yourself to others. Only use others as an inspiration. Such a beautiful idea. Shift your mind. Realize that any past trauma, any past events, any past actions that you've done are in the past. And uh, you get to make a plan to live your life moving forward. And finally, step out of your comfort zone. Dare to do things that you're not good at. Dare to do things that you've never tried. Dare to go places you've never been. Even on a whim, when someone just simply offers, might you just go, okay, let's, let's just try that. I don't know. You can't know what you're going to love unless you take the risk of trying it, right? And of course, it can help you discern what doesn't work for you. And that's really important too. So I thought this was a really good brief talk to remind myself of what I need to do in moving forward as well. All right, my friends, like if you like, join us if you haven't subscribed. Let me know in the comments below how I may support you. And until we talk again, best of all, know that you are blessed.